it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another garden project. So today we're going to be finally tackling my mysterious So If you've been following along, the helicopters are flying today, so I don't know if you can hear me. But if you've been following along, you know I've looked at two wisteria bushes, one here, one on the other side of the tree. Uh, not this fall, but last fall. Now, one was a full bush, and one was a uh, dormant start from tractor supply. So we had one, this was the start here, and then the other one was a full-on bush. Now, this is an invasive, not invasive, this is a non-invasive type of wisteria, which here in the south, wisteria can be very invasive. You'll see it all over the highways, climbing through trees. My mom has it in her backyard. Her house is over 100 years old, and she has what appears to be beautiful, beautiful wisteria vines, but they will take over your trees. If they can jump onto your house, they will take over your house. Anything they can climb on, they will take over, and they can really choke out a lot of ecosystems that you don't want them to. And that is the main problem with invasive things, is when they grow places, you don't want them to. Now, my non-invasive vines, will not do that. They will stay where you put them, you can cut them back. They will grow where you want them to grow, which is excellent. Unfortunately, the difference is that you do have to help them to climb. Now, once they are truly, truly, truly established, they will start to climb a little. You can see that this one right here, it's actually trying to climb up in the tree a little bit. Um, now, I bought mine from a nursery here in town, and they told me all the differences between the invasive and the non-invasive. I did a whole video on this. I will link it down below. Um, but again, the main difference is you have to help it climb until it gets truly established, and that can take a couple years. So all of these whips that are coming off of the branches, off of the vine here, they need help climbing the tree. They can't really do it on their own. You can see that they are putting out whips along the ground. I will do a, a clip right here to show you. It goes all the way over. There's a really, really long whip on the other side of the tree going along the ground by the garden. So all of those need help going around the tree. A little funny, but they grow really fast. This is one summer's worth of growth. These are still fairly new vines. I've only got one season of blooms out of them this year, and that one season was about five to ten blooms. Um, the, the ones at the nursery were beautiful and they had hundreds of blooms, so maybe next year it's grown so much this year. It's grown, you know almost 10 times more than it grew last season, this season. So today, all we're going to be doing is taking these little U-shaped nails, V-shaped nails, and we're going to be helping to tack the vine in place up around the tree so that it can grow. Now, the whole reason I am growing these now on this tree is that this tree is, uh, is not doing super well, it's probably not going to make it forever. I'm not going to get this house forever. So this is a big experiment. When I move out of this house, I will be taking the house with me. It's a modular house. Um, but when I move, this tree will probably come down. And so the whole idea of this is to try it out, see are non-invasive vines truly non-invasive before I move to a forever house and plant them somewhere where they become an issue. So for today, we're going to take our hammer, we're going to take our nails, and help guide these vines up around the tree. If you have a tree that is super important to you and is not as sturdy, a lot of your sturdier trees can take nails in the bark. Some can't. So if you have a tree, make sure you Google it, um, ask at your nursery, look to someone to ask, can your tree handle nails? If it can't, then you may try a um, you know, wrapping twine around the branches to help keep guiding them upwards and giving them a growing support until they can reach something up top to anchor them into the tree. So 
something that's a lot less detrimental than nails. But for this tree that I'm not worried about, we are using nails. I've been doing this for almost two years now and we have had no issues. But if we are getting to the point where we really need them up top where I can't reach. And so going in the driveway now is my tall brother. We've got a tall brother and a tall ladder. We're going to get this guy taken care of. So let's get started. All right, so you're going to place it right over the vine. And you'll hammer it in just until it is really in the bark. When you can, you want to leave enough room for the vine to still kind of move around and grow. And that's it. Just keep on pulling them up the tree. We got everything put up the tree. My phone overheated, so I don't know how much of it y'all saw, but we got the big whip put up. You can see it up at the top. It went all the way to the top of the tree and all the little ones are woven in. Now, I try to weave them so that the leaves are front face out because they grow with front face out, but you can see Will doesn't know that, so he just puts them up. So we've got some back face ones, but it's okay. They go all the way up. Ooh, that one probably could have been tacked better. You can see the end there, but you know what? It's fine. And instead of literally the one whip we had around at the beginning of the season, we have a whole trunk full. And I'm really hoping that means next year we will have a whole tree of blooms. Whew. This is the time when buying an invasive vine that would climb on its own sounds really good. But for the two years it's been installed that I've had it planted, I'm falling over. I only had to do this two, three times. Now, obviously you saw the whips 
I should have done this at least two times this season and I haven't, so that's part of it. Um, but lots of growth this year, so I'm calling that a win. I'm gonna go inside and get cool because it's hot, hot, hot out here. Uh, my brother has already left. He has, he has finished his uh, brotherly duty for the day. I will see y'all in the next project. Bye, stay cool.